Hey, it's Dr. Trish Lee. Today let's talk about the QEEG brain map and what information it gives you. Brain maps are so important because they're literally like maps. So if you just think about it that way, what does a map do for you when you are going on a journey? Basically, the map shows you where you are. So when we get your QEEG brain map, we can see how your brain is performing. And that's important because it shows us if your brain is using too much slow processing speed, which that creates difficulties with focus and attention. It can create memory challenges. It can create sleep problems. We also can see if your brain is running too fast, if it's using too much fast processing speed. This results in anxiety, OCD types of behaviors. It results in sensory processing disorders because sensory input from the environment lingers around and kind of gets mulled around due to a stressful type of brain pattern. So this creates misophonia, tinnitus, other sensory processing disorders. So basically the map shows us what your brain is doing, how it is working, and how it is creating your symptoms. What it also allows me to see, which of course I share with people in my office, is what we need to do to get you from where you are to where you want to be. Symptom free, struggle free, no more suffering, reaching your full potential, uh, living your authentic life, being your authentic self, which I think is the mission of everybody's lives. The map shows us the journey we need to take to get from A to B because literally improving your brain function and having your brain work better can take you from where you are to where you want to be. And the map shows us how. So if you want to see examples of brain maps, you can go to my website at leebrainandspine.com and literally on every page of any different type of challenge or disorder, there is a brain map and an explanation and a link to the study that proves that that brain pattern causes those challenges. And then in effect, we use neurofeedback therapy to teach the brain to make more of perfect processing speed and less of fast and slow, or depending upon what your brain needs, of course, we teach your brain to work better. And as you know, I always think you need to control your brain before it controls you. And that's the role that neurofeedback plays. Okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel below. And if you have any neurofeedback questions or brain functioning questions, please let me know. I'm always happy to answer them.